I bought a six years old computer, made it 28 times faster and 20% more power efficient by adding more RAM and upgrading its traditional spinning old hard drive to an SSD type. I'll show you the before and after speed test results later in this video. The difference is night and day. So I always wanted to get another 5K resolution 27 inch display in this room just like the Apple Studio display I have in the other office but it's quite expensive like over 1.5K plus tax. Then I realized the iMac pre-2021 they have this 27 inch 5K beautiful gorgeous display basically the same panel 60 hertz. I figure why not get this iMac. It's like buying a 5K display and get a computer for free. I'll explain the blue tape later, but uh, it came with one TB Fusion drive, which is a combination of the uh, physical spinning drive paired with a 32 GB ME type SSD. Used to be very expensive. This is the original 32 GB one from Samsung included by the iMac. With this combo, macOS installs on this drive. When it gets full, the data moves to the um, mechanical drive, which significantly slows things down. So the upgrade is gonna be the 4TB SSD NVMe type from Lexar to replace the Samsung one. And the mechanical drive will be replaced by the Lexa SSD 2.5 inch and S100, two terabytes. Together, I will have four terabytes. The original eight GB four memory sticks was replaced by this TimeTac 32 GB combo already, which is very easy to do. There are many excellent tutorials on YouTube that shows you how to open up the iMac and get the upgrade done properly. So I'm not going to repeat that work. I will just leave a link in the video description, point you to the video that helped me the most. And I'll also leave a link down below of these products I used that got me great results. However, I do want to point out a few important things for the SSD upgrade. First of all, the NVMe type Lexar drive is not a direct replacement you do need a little adapter that changes the interface to the Apple proprietary connection. Luckily, it's only around 10 bucks and the same adapter can be used for the MacBook Pro or MacBook Air SSD upgrade or pre-2015. You just need to make sure the whole drive is fully inserted and the screw is in place to make sure the reliability and never had any problem with this setup. And that was the hard part as I had to basically remove every components just to access the NVMe SSD. But now for the SATA 2.5 inch drive, it is super easy. This is not a must, but since we are ready here, why not replace it with a more modern solid state drive for additional storage and since the new drive is so much lighter than the mechanical drive you can basically just secure it with some blue tape here's what i've done the original metal bracket will not fit and it does not even worth it to come up with a more secure method to mount it I think the maximum allowed capacity in this iMac is 16 terabytes. Before gluing the screen back permanently, I used blue tape again just to make sure everything works. Both Lexa drives got recognized successfully. I'm gonna format it as APFS modern file system that was quick i'm gonna format the other one name it as 2tb rename it now we can go back and 
reinstall OS. Install it on the 4TB NVMe drive, uh, which is the fastest. Only takes about five minutes. This is amazing. Let's run a quick disk speed test with the original iMac 1TB Fusion drive. We get under seven megabytes per second write speed and about 1000 megabits per second. And it's, it's much slower. I think it hit the SATA drive. Well, this is horrible. Yeah, that's why I want to upgrade using the Lexa SATA 2TB and NVMe type 4TB drive. All right, let's do this. Results are not good. Amazing speed. Look at this. Read or write almost the same, close to 3000 megabytes per second. Now let's try the SATA disk, 2TB. It is significantly slower, but still so much better than the mechanical drive. Works great after the upgrade. Actually, this video is being edited on this computer right now. So far, so good. I think I'm gonna glue the screen back with these adhesive strips. Just for your reference, I'm code starting the Safari app, Apple TV, iMovie. Loads up very quickly. This machine is very, very usable in 2025. Still very snappy. Yeah, I'm happy with the results. All right, let's do it. Here's a very important tip for you when reapplying the adhesive strips. Make sure you cut out this microphone area so it does not get blocked. Otherwise, you will definitely lose the microphone in this iMac and you have to use a USB microphone. The screen has been reattached. It's as good as new. You will not be able to tell that it was opened before. Lined up perfectly. I'll probably reuse the old 1TB hard drive. The webcam of the iMac 2019 is 720p resolution, which is not the best. But the point is, I still have audio, which means this upgrade process was a big success. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Like and subscribe.